You're watching Hooked on Utah on KUTV, powered by Ford. Welcome to Hooked on Utah. We got a fun episode for you today with my good friend Ryan Newman. Now Ryan's a guide for Rocky Mountain Outfitters, but he also doubles as a high school teacher, high school football coach for the PG Vikings. And I've got my son Braxton here who doubles as a football player and a non-fly fisherman. He's going to teach my son how to fly fish, have a good time, hope you learn some tips and techniques that will make you a better angler. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning firearms and outdoor gear, the best there is. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Base. These two uh, bushes right here. It's time for the Camp Chef Quiz of the Week. From which lake does the Provo River originate? All of the items shown on this week's checklist can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse and online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. From which lake does the Provo River originate? Answer, Trial Lake in the Uinta Mountains. Set, go! Good, good. Drive, drive your feet though. Okay, you want to go in a downstream motion, or you can do like Statue of Liberty like you're holding the torch. Kind of brother-in-law in a little bit. You got to go on easy on him. Brother-in-law? Yeah. A couple times I've wanted to dunk a few people in the river <laughs> when they don't listen, make them do a few up-downs, but you know, I've got to, that's kind of my break too. So this is, uh, this is where I get to be on the little on the crazy side. All right, everybody good? Buddy system's always best. Nothing wrong with two guys holding hands in the river. Fish on, baby. Fish okay. on. No way. Not a monster, but I'll take it right there. Beautiful little fish. Nice little brown, man. I'm telling you what. Ryan Newman, Rocky Mountain Outfitters. These guys are a blast to fish with. Beautiful little guy here on his little body of water. Gorgeous little fish. Oh, stick, look at that. I, mean, I could tell it was moving. I could tell it was moving there. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good sized stick. I'd be proud of that. Go for his big brother. This is what I love about summertime fishing. You know, my son is in between practice, as is Ryan, who's one of the coaches for Pleasant Grove High School. That's uh, pretty impressive right there. It's a good start. <laughs> so we thought we'd just uh, take a noontime trip up here to the, his little river, catch a few fish, give my son some instruction on how to, uh, how how to fish kind of the summer bite. And, set that fish. and this is what's great about Utah. There's a stream in your backyard just about anywhere you want to go to catch fish. I grew up fishing. I uh, grew up playing football and uh, was a Pleasant Grove High School alumni. I knew that I always wanted to coach and teach. Coach Sampson called me and I uh, needed a little extra help and uh, it just was a natural fit. Good, so Braxton and Dog, you guys are going to double that, okay? The end. Double him and then one of you work to come off, okay? Set it. Oh. So pull, pull with your left hand, get that slack out. There you go, lift and throw. All right. Good looking brown. Beautiful fish. Take a look at that. Tog in the good spot. Should have put his son down there. Isn't that what you do? Is you put the youth where the best fishing is. It's making you work for him up here. 
Well, he is barely skin hooked. I don't know what kind of instructor he is. Set it. Go. See if nothing's there, just go again. It's a lot of repetition. Just like football, you gotta do it over and over again until you see it. There we go, fish on, baby! The kid's on fire! He's not a monster. Killing him on the bottom bouncer, the Ryan Newman special. We're gonna try him. If he goes to run and your rod tip drops, let go with your left hand, okay? The best thing at Chakarama is the kettle roasted turkey. I'll admit it, I do go back for seconds every single time. Hey there, Trevor, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Hey, don't hop, we don't have time to hop. Okay, and then go. You're right here, boom, run it, get in the field, okay? It's not ISO where you can kind of stutter a little bit, going right now. I pretty much have the, the perfect life, football, fly fishing, and, and teaching, it's great. I set that, oh yeah, good. Set that just in case. Good, whoa, okay, that fish no longer has a face. Let me see, hold on, let me see if that, let me get his face off of here. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> set it. <laughs> Braxton, he thought uh, he was in the weight room doing a power clean or, uh, you know, running a uh, route. Okay, if we go back to practice and I have a fly in my ear, <laughs> you're doing, you're doing up downs. Careful you don't hook yourself or me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna move over here. That's the interesting thing about the, the lower Provo. You know, it gets a lot of boat traffic. You'll see a lot of bugs. Set it, that's fish, you got him. Holy big fish. Oh, fish on, let him run. oh, it's huge. Now let go of that Keep left hand and reel it. until it's tight. Go ahead and let him run. We're gonna let him go as much as he wants. You're gonna go up with the tip, okay? Good, I'm gonna slide in here. Nice job, Rax. Okay, now reel as he comes up the bank. Come out of that dead fall. If he goes to run, let go with your left hand. Go, just let it, let it go, let it go. Get that tip up. Coming at you, He's, we got him fouled now. There we go. Remember, in towards the bank, Brax. Reel, till it's, reel up till it's tight. Keep coming down the bank if you need to. Keep reeling, keep reeling, tip up. Okay, we're gonna get him tight, we're gonna try him. If he goes to run and your rod tip drops, let go with your left hand, okay? Keep going, keep reeling. Okay, stop right there, let go. Nice, oh, good job. Nice fish. <laughs> that fish scared the crap out of him. <laughs> he was jumping out of the water, nice job, man. That was awesome, good job. You had no idea you had that fish on, I huh? I didn't know. I just he just told me to set it, so I set it. So I said, oh, whatever, yank. You get him unhooked fish. and you can, you can get him out of there. It's a good looking fish. He took nothing more than thread on a hook. That's a big fish. Well, I think I'm one step above my mom. I actually, I got one on the line and I actually caught it. She got oh, one on the line, streamed okay. and ran to the bank. Just keep your line. Roll it. Okay. Real, babe. Pull the line in. I lost it. <laughs> I think I, I'm a step above my mom on this one. I'm Gary Winterton, this is Rex Allen, and we're here at Allen's Camera. Rex, people have boxes and boxes of memories on some of these older formats, VHS, Hi8, Mini DV. You guys offer an incredible service. We can actually convert any of these formats um, to a DVD or just to an MPEG-4. We have some, people, some customers who just want a computer format, so we can convert them archive them, make them last a lot longer. These VHS tapes are degrading, sitting in, in the box or in your cabinet. You probably don't even have a VCR anymore. Next time you guys are looking at those packages and all of these memories, bring them into Alan's camera. You know, what makes this such great water is you've got these, you've got pools and eddies where the big rocks are. It creates a, a slack spot for the trout to sit behind and rest. A lot of food coming down, being pushed down with the current. The next thing got is him, he's got, got a beautiful him. fish on. Go now go he's got to figure it out. Can I let him run? Good. Reel up a couple cranks, get that indicator out of the water. Other way. Oh my gosh, other way, Snoopy. Reel. Can I have a 
Good, now keep that tip up. Keep going, reel a little bit more. The learning curve to catching a fish on the fly in this current is tough, but he's got it dialed in now. He's got his second big fish. Reel this up a little like bit more. This looks like another 18 to 20 inch brown. Oh, oh. oh, did he come off? Yeah. Oh, shoot. It's a quality fish though. That was a good one, nice job. That was a guide foul. That's the guide breaking it off. You know, that was a total guide foul. Four more of those, I gotta sit down. <laughs> That's actually one more of those and it's 20 up downs. Hey Brax, can you uh, feel your toes? I saw you break your neck there for a second. <laughs> the best thing at Chuckarama is without a doubt the bread pudding. Oh, it's so good. Hey, we're here at OR Show 2011. I'm Steve McGrath, Camp Chef, and we're right here with Gary Winterton, Hooked on Utah. We're having a good time looking at new products. Uh, the product we're looking at today is the Ranger 3 blind stove is what we're calling it. Its main purpose is duck blind. Uh, real small and compact. It's got a nice cast iron top here. Ignition built in on each one of the burners. Three burners on this thing. Comes with the hose and regulator. Just a, a great cooking little machine. Great to haul uh, to the picnic in the park, uh, on the back patio, on the tailgate after you're done fishing. Wherever you need it, this little range of stove will do it. We've got a two burner version as well. This stove is built to handle it. You can pound on this baby and it's gonna perform for you. So, you know, if it's picnicking or if it's waterfowl hunting, dropping it on a table, you want a well-built, high-performance stove. The Blind Series is exactly what you're looking for. Set, go, you want to play. Hey, I want intensity, okay? Good. Oh, cheater. You know, um, to be honest with you, I, don't, I think there's nothing better than um, a nice crisp morning on the river, but there's also good, nothing better yeah. than uh, a nice cool crisp night in the fall under the under the lights. So it's a it's a good mix. Hey Gary, I think we're gonna get you a little more weight. I think uh, while you're fishing that fast water, you might just be buzzing their heads a little bit. Let's get you down a little bit more. A little further out, Brax. Where's your guys' life jackets? Hey Brax. Can you uh, feel your toes? I saw you break your neck there for a second. <laughs> Set it, that's fish. Lift oh, up, oh. Oh. did you that see that? That was a big fish. <laughs> Braxton, that was a huge that rainbow. That was a monster. Are you kidding me? And I think you just annihilated the whole line. Perfect bass set. He's like waiting for it, wait for it. Yak! <laughs> you might want to go a little easier there, Flex. Oh my goodness sakes. Let's see what we left here. Braxton got all excited. Like dropping a pass in the end zone. This doesn't look good for the dude that was riding that. Oh wow. Set it, that's fish. Go up, go up, you got him, nice, let him run. Good, keep that tip up. That a boy, reel until you get that indicator out of the water. Good. Nice job, nice man. Nice fish, Brax. You were on fire. On. If you remember, if he gets a little hot, let him take a little line. He starts sliding in, you're gonna keep the rod tip towards the bank to get him out of that current. Reel a little bit more and come right towards me. That's a good, go that's a rainbow, on. isn't it? Yeah, rainbow. That's a quality bow. Nice job, Rex. Good rainbow. Nice job. Good fish. He's not super long, but look like he swallowed a football. And you're gonna reach this guy out just a little bit. See how he's kind of curved, Brax? There you go, try to straighten him out, lift him up just a little bit more and tilt him down a little bit. Yep, just like he's swimming in the water. I don't I probably wouldn't have caught that one if it wasn't for, for Coach Newman. Well, I pretty much told him where to cast it, how to cast it. Set it for him. <laughs> yeah. Fish on, baby. Got a big fish right here, just out in the middle. We we're talking, wasn't really paying attention to my thingamabobber. Bam, it was under the water, swimming over to the other shore. We got a good, good quality fish here, strong. Good, strong fish. The challenge is they get you out in this current and they want to use that current so they turn sideways and it's just like fighting a great big sail. And we're using light line. Look at him turn out into that current. I got to get his head up so Ryan can get uh, get a shot at him. Oh! Ooh. That was a close one. Rim shot. <laughs> he was, he was, Rim shot on he was doing one. everything he could to get out. Look at that. That thing's a butterball.
One of the things that uh, I'm most appreciative about Ryan is uh, Ryan's a great, uh, great guy. He's one of the youth leaders up at Pleasant Grove High School. He's a football coach. He is a history teacher. Here's a guy that gives his time, his energies to the kids at the school. Great leader. I mean, this is the kind of guy you want influence in your kids. He's out here fishing, loves nature. Braxton's one of his students, teaching him how to catch fish. I don't think they get any better than that. Well, the thing that I'm most excited about is he has stuck some big fish. He's had two or three that he's landed that are toads. We've got tubers and rafters going past us. 94 yards, he needs one more carry. That's what that is right there. Pass Dadder. The best thing at Chuckarama is the scones. <laughs> I love the scones. Adam, everybody knows Goal Zero is the world leader in solar power, whether it's charging and storing. One of the things that I love about your products is they are innovative, they're lightweight, and they're absolutely interchangeable. You guys have a brand new flashlight product that I'm super stoked about. Tell us about Correct. it. Correct. This is our new Bolt flashlight. It's a little bit, it has a Cree LED light with it. It's 160 lumens, and it's all got this nice little anodized aluminum to it, so it's got this great look and feel. Why is it unique? What makes it different is that it charges directly off of the Nomad 7 through a USB port. So you can basically interchange the products that you purchased with us to charge other devices as we come out in the future. <laughs> Phenomenal product. I can't wait to get my hands on one. In fact, I've got my hands on mine. You guys will need to call Gold Zero to get yours. <laughs>
Joe, the owner of Rocky Mountain, was kind enough to loan us the Numinator today. That's right, kind of next, a big deal. Yeah, very big deal, next to me. Uh, next time you guys are thinking about a trip here in Utah and you guys want to do anything from fishing to snowmobiling to all kinds of adventures you guys have going on, get a hold of Rocky Mountain Outfitters. They'll take you and your family on the adventure of a lifetime. Braxton, how was fishing today? It was fun. It was a new experience, but it's worth coming back for. So, Last time we took him, he fell asleep on the bank. So <laughs> exponentially better performance. Go PG Vikings. Stay hooked on Utah, my friends. Viking pride. Oh yeah.